I'm a bit late with watching the series, but I definitely wanted to talk about Alice in Borderlands now that I've finished the first two seasons that are on Netflix. Hi, my name's Drew and welcome to another review video on Flying V. Now this is something that's been on my radar for quite some time, uh, back when there was all this craze surrounding Squid Game, which if you don't know is one of my favourite TV shows, uh, well, to date really. And one of the reasons I feel that, we sh that people should not quite give up on Netflix because they do offer some of these gems every now and then, in among the surely huge lows of really mediocre at best <laughs> TV, okay? And uh, Alice in Borderlands is another a great example. Now, uh, unlike Squid Game, this is not a Korean show, this is a Japanese show. It is based on a manga, which I must admit I have not read. I actually didn't discover that this is based on a manga until I was finished watching the two for the first series. So, uh, if you're a manga fan and wanted, you know, my take on how it compares to the manga, I'm sorry, unfortunately, I cannot give you that. Uh, I'll see, maybe I'll check it out at some time, because I did hear, and and it depends on whether they will be making uh, another series or not, but I did uh, read online that there is actually a bit more to the story, so uh, at least compared to the manga, it is not finished yet. So, you know, if they decide not to make a third one, then I suppose I might check out the manga, because I do want to know more. The mystery of the story has definitely not been fully answered for me yet, and as far as I know, that is answered in the manga. Anyway, so I was drawn to this, especially when Squid Game came out, that's why I mentioned it. Many people said, ah yeah, if you like this, you should also take a look at Alice in Borderlands. I'm like, okay, great. And then you read the short blurb and you see that it's about deadly games and that is obviously, uh, you know, <laughs> why people allude to Squid Game uh, when, when they talk about Alice in Borderlands as well. And I mean, I can confirm, yes, if that's something that you really enjoyed about Squid Game, you know, the thought of people having to compete in games that could end up being deadly, then you will certainly enjoy uh, Alice in Borderlands. Uh, but let's not get too far ahead of that. I do want to talk about the actual plot first before we get into details, but you know, just if this is, you're, you're like, okay, fine, uh, that sounds interesting enough. Especially if you're like, okay, well, I don't want to hear a full review, you know, I want to look at it myself before I check this out, then do that now. You know, you can return later once you're finished if you're interested in the rest of my opinion. But let's get into the plot. What is it about? We are focused uh, on a group of friends, uh, but mainly uh, a guy called Artu, who he's played by Kento Yamazaki, and they, they live in Tokyo. They, I suppose you could say, they get into a slight spot of trouble, you know, and not, no, not really a, a big thing. It's got to do with traffic, and you know, they're, they're just stood in the middle of the road. But I mean, it's more by accident because they're having fun, not trying to be malicious or anything. They run away from the police. They. <laughs> They decide to hide away for a, for a minute there, you know, to hopefully uh, lose them in the subway station. And when they come out, uh, suddenly everyone is gone. You know, it's like suddenly, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> something happened, someone flipped the switch and all the people are just suddenly gone. Uh, without any explanation, we don't actually see anything happen, so we are just as lost as they are as to what caused this. What we then slowly discover is that uh, people are forced uh, into participating in games. These games have got very different nature. Uh, you know, they're, they're, all, they're all very, very different. Uh, some of them need you to be really smart. Other ones are more of a physical challenge. And uh, I mean, I might tell you at this point, they've, they've, all, they're all, they've all got the designations as a typical deck of cards. We've got heart games, diamond games, club games, you know, and spade games. And depending on, on which, uh, which one they are, you know, they're, they're leaning more into the one than the other. As an example, heart games are ones where you might have to sacrifice something, you know, uh, or be, be hard on friends, I'll call it that way. It might even be deceiving, you know, you'll have to decide, is it me or them who's going to live? All these kind of things. Yeah, and so they've all got various uh, difficulties as well, you know, even within that system, uh, the higher the number goes, the more difficult they are. And the problem is, well, as you could, you could say, uh, why are people participating in this? You know, is it like Squid Game where they get a load of money? No, quite simply, if they don't participate in these games, uh, they are killed. There's a, <laughs> you could call this, uh, you know, a, do, uh, a, a, a MacGuffin or some other, you know, just unexplained thing, but literally just a laser or satellite, I suppose, maybe, I mean, we don't actually see it, but a laser just appears in the sky, shoots down, and instantly kills whoever is not participating in these games. 
you've got a certain uh, sort of uh, uh, leeway, you get a few days each time you do pass a game, you know, you get a visa, it's called, of a few days, and at the end of those days, you, you have to have participated in another game to extend that visa or renew it, I suppose. If you don't, the laser appears in the sky and <laughs> just that right, because now this seems very basic, etc. But it, it adds to the mystery because what we're going through um, uh, as, we, as we're moving along with Arisu is we're trying to do, figure out what's happened. And I like the mystery of it because it really makes you wonder because they even talk about it in the show, you know, they kind of fuel uh, all the speculation around it. Like, is it aliens, you know, or what's happened? Is this people from the future? Is this just a simulation? What's going on? So you've got all this sort of standard tropes i'll call it that you might think of in these situations and we're trying to figure it out and you know we do gradually learn more and more about what's happening we also learn more about the games how they are made who makes them all these kind of things obviously i won't spoil it for you because the mystery is one of the things that, that really kept me interested so i really enjoyed it a lot it's not just that uh, it's also the games themselves i think they're really cool now if you like that i like that aspect of squid game as well but obviously there are just very few of these games here we get a lot more of these games and I, I think it focuses more on that. So if, you're, if you were more about the gaming aspect, you know, like, ah, but I want it to be more gamey, as it were, or more games, more in-depth games, or more, let's, uh, let's say, you know, more, more things that you have to think about, you know, more mind games, I'll call it, these kind of things, then you'll really enjoy Alice in Borderlands. There's some games where I was sitting out, I tried to, you know, figure the rules out or ways to beat the others in the games etc along with the characters and uh, found it quite tricky so I'm actually quite pleased that this is not real, does not exist because I'm not quite sure <laughs> I would survive in these games as well as Arisu and the companions he's got uh, do. But yeah, I really liked the, the aspect of it. I thought it was really fun and they're really creative games. They're, they're really amazing. Without spoiling anything, I, I will say if you've watched the, the whole two seasons that are on Netflix, the one I enjoyed the most is actually in the second season, but it's right at the start of the second season. It's called Osmosis. Just the whole thing around it was, was really cool and the characters were interesting. And it's one of these situations where you do realise that, that, you know, not everyone can win, but you're like, ah, I'm not sure I, I, I know who I want to win, you know? I mean, in the end, you do stick with the main characters, but still, it was a, just a really cool concept. I won't even spoil it for you. They just really bring out some really cool concepts for games, just with the unfortunate downside of someone usually dying <laughs> by the end of them. I will say, though, they're not all like that, so it's not a requirement in each game that someone dies. So there are ways for everyone to survive in, in quite a lot of these games, but ultimately, you know, it brings in, and this is also, I suppose you could compare it a bit to Squid Game, a bit like that where, you know, uh, people, do they trust each other enough when they don't know each other, or, or are they just quick and easy to sacrifice other people just to make sure that they themselves will win. So we've got a lot of these discussions, a lot of uh, philosophical things as well, I suppose you could say, Again, one of my favourite just parts of the whole thing is in that game, Osmosis, that I just mentioned, uh, because you've just got some really interesting exchanges there, uh, because uh, the just the, the other people involved, uh, are just just yeah, it's just really really interesting, just just uh, hearing the dialogue and seeing what how they're trying to sort of think about the world they're in and what they should do or what beliefs they should have etc and in connection with that i will mention that one of the other really standout uh, actors in this is in that very game uh, his name is tomohisa yamashita i hope i'm saying that correctly he plays a character called kuma who <laughs> Visually, <laughs> you you will definitely not forget. I won't even I won't even explain why. It's just I was thinking it's, it's a very interesting choice. Uh, I'm assuming it's in the manga as well. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I mean just 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 really props to him to just play that part for so long in that way and just you not know, just do it straight faced and everything and really still be a stand up character, but not for that just because of the way he is and what he says and does. Really love that. I will mention one more uh, actress actually in connection with this. So, so uh, Arisu on his on his travels, he meets this this woman. She is a climber. She, so we through her immediately learn that there are a lot of physical games. So she trains herself. She goes out running every day, and she herself before whatever happened happened 
was a climber, so she's very physical, and that really is useful in quite a lot of these games, as we realise, you know, so it's not, you can't just stroll into these games because you ultimately don't know what's going to happen, what the game is going to be, so you have to be prepared for everything. And I suppose outside of the games, the only thing you can really do is train your body, and that's what she does. And she's played by Tao Tsuchiya, and her name in the ca in the character, the her character's name in the show, or in the manga, I suppose as well, if she exists there, is uh, Usagi, and she she helps Arisu along. So the two of them definitely uh, are not one of these uh, people who just want to sacrifice other people. They actually strive to help other people, you know, and uh, get as many people through these games as possible because they feel that, you know, ultimately for all the people who have died, they deserve an answer of what the hell is going on, you know, why are all these people here, why are they being forced to play these games, because ultimately, if you remember Squid Game, I mean, you could say to a, to a point, the, the people are forced to play it, because, you know, they're all, they've all got their own personal situations for which they could really need that money, but in Alice in Borderlands, it actually is like that, because again, if they don't participate in the games, they're just going to be outright killed with no explanation, you know, <laughs> no justification really, because all you did was not participate in a game. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> why is this happening? And yeah, so the two of them, they, they definitely uh, uh, combine well to, you know, go through these games and actually try to help people. It's done really well, uh, you know, just as looks of all the whole thing. It's got this sort of sci-fi aspect to it, you know, I'll just say the laser in the sky, but also the games themselves are really well set up. It all looks really good. Uh, uh, you know, to Tokyo itself being deserted, etc. It's always fascinating to me to see deserted cities. Uh, I, especially in the past few years, I remember when, when in Austria we had the first lockdown a few years ago, just on my walking on my way to work and streets that I'm used to being really buzzing, you know, countless people just being really empty it just is such an eerie feeling so I, I like this image you know it's really cool of, of, of an empty Tokyo and then walking around it's just so strange so bizarre to walk through such a landscape uh, so it's really cool the whole thing looks really great I love the way it's shot uh, they really make use of this empty city so you get some really really cool uh, shots in there uh, I just overall uh, really enjoyed it uh, also the camera work I felt that that was really interesting you know we're always there's always details going on that you might miss but the camera is really really great the camera work to make sure that we just pick up a lot of things that actually are interesting or are vital etc you could think you know with a lot of games and them being quite physical that we might have really chaotic camera work etc not at all so it's really focused and uh, it's really just overall very, very enjoying the whole thing feels like a puzzle because of that because you know you're being offered pretty much you know you get to see everything and experience everything with the characters and so it feels like you can be kind of part of the team trying to figure everything out and I really like that like I said I do hope that they will uh, conclude the story as it is in the manga uh, I really do hope that otherwise I will definitely check that out but I think that that is all for me. It is definitely a very high recommendation. Like I said, if you enjoy the sort of death games, I'll call it, or <laughs> uh, these kind of things, especially sort of brain games, you know, if you, if you like puzzle solving puzzles and that, you will enjoy this show quite a lot, I feel. Yeah, overall, I think it's just a really great package. So high recommendation for me. Like I say, uh, again, uh, at least a reason to watch Netflix or subscribe to them or something are shows like these, I feel. Anyway, that will be all from me. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe. It is the best way to support this channel. Leave a comment down below about anything you want to say, comparisons between this and the uh, Squid Game and maybe other uh, shows that you know. It doesn't have to be Netflix, it can be other networks as well, of course. If you've read the manga, you know, you can give me <laughs> a recommendation down below. Uh, is it vastly different? I mean, is the Netflix show vastly different from the manga? If yes, please let me know because then uh, I definitely should check out the manga, you know, to see where the differences are. And uh, do you also feel that I definitely should dive into it to, you know, get the actual end to the story? Because while we got sort of an ending in season two, it's like, mm, you feel that there's more there, especially in the sort of cliffhanger they leave you off, which is, yeah, anyway. Any of that you want to mention, please down in the comments below. I'll thank you again for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video on Flying Dino. Take care. Bye.